Welcome back to Timber Borners. Episode 12 of season 7, where some beavers went to heaven. But now I think we're on top of it. Yes, I can't see anything going wrong. Not when we use the engineering principles of the dong. It's a legit engineering principle. They're just too scared to teach it as students are immature and will laugh. Yes, hello, fellow engineers, and welcome back to Timber Borners. Uh, it's, it's nighttime. I, I hate nighttime. Let's just wait till it's morning. Hang on. Yay, there we go. The sun is rising. Everyone's everyone's getting up. They're on their commute to work. And check out this place. This is one of my most successful beaver colonies ever. I mean, aside from that small thing we like to call the incident, uh, this has been a pretty much how to guide of how to timber born very, very successfully. Uh, last time, we even got our beavers on the old coffee production. King Engineer's making his own his own brew. Um, oh, and actually, look, that's filled up with coffee. Anyway, yeah, the aim today, I think it's going to be trying to get this power over. Um, I believe, yeah, we're trying to build this stuff under here. So I think these stairs were next to go in. We're just waiting on planks for those. Oh, look, someone's coming over with planks. It's Sam straight into the poo water. You brave, brave beaver. Oh, they're gone. They've disappeared. Uh, Sam, do we need a lifeguard or poo guard? Oh, no, they're back. They're back. They're good. They're just building. Because, no, yeah, if I just do the underwater look thing. Yeah, we've got to build those stairs. And then we need to build all of these shafts. Yeah, and actually, once we do, we probably need some sort of bridge to get over here to, like, build these. Now, I've got 5,000 science. I haven't unlocked any bridges yet. What do they... I feel like they're quite pricey. Oh, they cost a lot of resources, old bridges. Yeah, like these don't even, they don't even reach. I'll tell you what, maybe better just to build these out of like platforms. So we can do that. Shove stairs there and path over that way. But yeah, we can then like platform along here, I guess, to try and build all of these. So if we just wang stairs on those paths on top, then maybe that will be temporary scaffolding so we can build that. Right, we've also got the small matter of trying to actually build all of this stuff. But again, I'm thinking just stairs down. Oh, I can't build stairs down there. Why can't I build stairs there? Oh, is that because you're in the way? Okay, if I delete you, build stairs, then I think I'll have to remove the stairs and then build the other, I was going to call it a wind turbine, the poo turbine. <laughs> what? Oh, but yeah, then we just got to get across here. Now I think, yeah, I started putting in stairs over this side so we can build all of this. Uh, so I think I think we're pretty good. We can build all of these shafts now. And oh my god, oh, look, look at the progress they've made. These are <laughs> they're literally swimming underwater. Under poo. Richard is under Oh no, Richard's Richard's contaminated. Who's this one? Bartek map 47. Also contaminated. Oh dear. Now thankfully you may remember we built these. These are contamination pods. Not entirely sure how it works. Uh, but I know the liquid is made in this centrifuge over here. Well, actually, why are you sat on your but why aren't you making anything? Oh, you don't have any bad water. But where's our bad water log pumper? Oh, there isn't one. <laughs> okay, up the priority of that. E dot. I'm very sorry about this, but you're going to be the poo pumper from now on. Because uh, we need bad water to make that extract, but also to make dynamite. Uh, and if you remember up here, we had quite a big dynamite project going on. Actually, if I look underwater. Oh, look, they're all in. They are all in. If we go from the middle and press detonate. Boosh, 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 boosh. Oh. <laughs> oh, that was good. That was actually good. You cannot deny that. That means water's flowing in at two depth rather than one. Although I think that staircase has to go and we want to shove a dynamite on there. So I might high prioritize that one just so it gets done. But yeah, then all of this is like too lower, which means as we do our log pumping throughout the dry season, uh, we can pump a lot lower before this runs out. Oh, no, look. Look, okay, so we've got 54 adult beavers. we got five children beavers, but we now have one contaminated beaver. Oh, no. Oh, they're hideous. <laughs> Bartek map 47, in the kindest possible way, you're hideous. Hopefully, you're going to go in that bath that we built because it took quite a lot of resources. L look how slow he's walking. Hang on, let's make him walk faster. There we go. We should see he goes in the bath and then starts healing. Yes. <laughs> He's in the bath. Look at that. Oh, he's loving it. So we can now heal sick beavers, which... Oh, no, he's, he's given up. I think he's hungry. So now he's heading all the way back to the main colony just to get some food. Then he'll head all the way back again to try and heal himself. But yeah, this is great. This means the incident can never happen again. 
Nice. Uh, also, whilst we're here, we should probably start thinking about trying to build the uh, the bad water discharge thing. 4,000 science to unlock that. Uh, we then need 50 dynamite, which we're a bit short of. 200 metal blocks, which we're extremely short of. And then 300 gears, which we're also short of. So that's not actually going to get built for ages. But basically, you put this on the bum hole of the map, like there. And then you control, like, when it opens or not. That is nasty. So yeah, I will unlock it i'll say let's build it up there we need to get some stairs in and stuff so i think for now let's footpath along there stairs up this way and then with the footpath over to there they should be able to build that but yeah with the amount of resources we need well we're gonna need to step it up we are making gears in here who's in there curie pebbles 300 is a lot though uh, the other thing was the the scrap metal so we have 69 scrap metal oh yeah i believe these smelter guys I pause them because they refuse to stop working. So if we unpause these two, up the priority. So Dominic and Kasaruki, they will become scrap metalers, taking down these ruins, turn them into precious scrap metal. And then I can add a beaver to a smelter and of course up the priority to so Dom Jaro in there. I feel like Dom Jaro is literally jack of all trades. Like if there's a job, he will do it. He just has no shame. Uh, I've also put Draggery in the smelter next door as well because that's a lot of blocks we got to make. A lot of blocks. Uh, by the way, the log situation seems to be resolved. There's like, there's oaks growing everywhere. So that is good. I think with our new tree area down here as well, we should be good in the future for logs. That's the theory anyway. Um, oh, by the way, did that dynamite get put in yes it did boosh oh blooming out sorry who was that alex ash nearly lost a limb there but yeah now this area definitely has too high water and it has too high inlets so that means we can get pumping oh actually only is that the only one that's working no beavers in there none in there none in there yeah we need to get some more water on the goat we're down to 400 water in a wet season that is not good enough so more upping of priorities <laughs> Ben Harrison, cheese cruncher, get in there, start working your wood. Oh, by the way, look at the beavers carrying the scrap metal. The scrap metal's huge. That looks heavy as anything. Right, anyway, it is the next morning. The, the logs are pumping, which is good. You'll notice next door, the swimming pool's completed. Oh, yeah, look, there's a baby beaver in it. Little baby Madame Engineer. Oh, very posh, very posh. And yeah, they are off. I feel like down in the industrial area, we're making planks out of logs here. However, we are making gears. As well as back over there, we're making the reinforced planks. So we're using planks for everything. We're also trying to build stuff with planks. So I should probably unpause this as well. So Mythical Box and Nug. Uh, we've also got them on making planks as well. I think that is sensible. Um, I still feel like though we don't have enough beavers. We've got 60 beavers. Would it be worth building another one of these breeding pods? Just so we can have a little bit more. Oh no, look. Who's that? Oh, that's still Bartek, Matt. They're tired. They're going to bed. They're very, very contaminated still, but they're exhausted. I guess because it's so far to get over to the contamination pods. But look, contaminated, their movement speed is minus 70%. And maybe I've done that too far away, so... <laughs> By the time he's made it to the contamination pod, he's just like given up on life. All right, I'm actually going to fast forward so you can see sleep is going up. Hunger has come down. I think as soon as sleep is filled, there you go. They are up and awake. They should go get some food and drink. So yeah, getting some water from there. Getting some food from in there. So now all their bars are full. Hopefully they're heading over to the contamination pod. Oh no, they've gone back to bed. Fair enough. All right, hopefully now they'll head over there. What are you doing? <laughs> Go to the decontamination pod. Oh, did he actually listen? Is he actually going now? Oh, no, look, there's more. There's more contaminated beavers. Oh, what? We got nut. What? There's nine contaminated beavers. How did that happen? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Nine? This is like getting to like incident levels again. All right, we got two beavers in the pods, but we've got nine beavers. Oh, I'm going to have to. Do I build more pods? What do I do? Oh, look, look. <laughs> Struct is better than civil. Yeah, look what happened to you now, though. Do you still think that? Because you are sick and all the civil engineers aren't. I believe we call that karma. So sorry, mate. Um, yeah, I do feel like, though, I should probably build some more of these decontamination pods. I was not expecting that many beavers to get sick. But, oh, no. Oh, what? Oh, you shouldn't be lying that way, you drowned in it, should you? <laughs> Oh, dear. Um, oh, actually, to be fair, Rich, he died of old age. He didn't actually die of contamination. The trouble is... <laughs> He died in that bathtub, which means the next person who has to go in there 
I don't think that water gets changed. That's quite horrendous. Um, <laughs> I shouldn't laugh. But yeah, these contaminated beavers. Oh, it's a disaster. I shouldn't have pushed them to work into the poo. I should have just waited till we had this or just waited for a drought. Look, there's a drought approaching in 1.9 days. Oh, I feel bad. I feel bad. We're having another incident. All right, so I've just been watching like construction. Beavers are still going into the water. Like you don't need to stand there, surely. Are these guys contaminated? Yeah, they are. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm going to pause that. They're also at the bum hole of the map. Yeah, they have started building that. So the explosives have gone in. Yeah, metal blocks have gone in. And then gears haven't gone in yet. But yeah, I think we'll wait till the drought and then resume building. Um, oh, one thing, one thing we can do. We can delete that bit of path. Decontamination pod. I think that's sensible. All right, anyway, it is now the drought. Oh, no, what happened to our water? What? How's it down to 300? I thought we had three. We do have three log pumpers. They have not been pumping hard enough. Oh, dear. Oh, no, this is bad. This is really bad. I mean, the good news is we have that two depth now, so we should be able to keep this area wet. I'm going to have to let some water out there already, though, because down here is drying up. Yeah, but yeah, I'm going to have to keep all three of these log pumpers pumping throughout the drought, which is seven days long. Ooh, I really went a bit too easy on the old water. Oh, that was really, really silly. I might regret all this. Oh, I'm just, I'm just realizing like so much disaster ridge as well. I've just realized because the bum hole of the map has dried up, it means there's no more poo water flowing, which means none of this has power, which means our decontamination pods don't work. Uh, also, it means the poo water is at quite a high level. I'm hoping though, as we build this we can build it from up there so these beavers shouldn't have to get dirty to build all this that's the aim anyway keep your feet dry um it means i can unpause that as well because there's now no longer poo water flowing down yeah but yeah so there's no power up here which obviously means there's no power down here either yeah not good so we gotta add some beavers to the wheel of pain so oh no i've put it as like high priority and only one beaver's gone in we're gonna have to super high prioritize this All right you guys get in there oh what has happened? <laughs> How have I messed up so badly already? Still, we have power now, which means the industrial area is back up and running. I may have to pause some of these things. Though. Like maybe the food. Maybe it's better we keep all the construction going. Although, although food is getting low. That was never below a thousand. Yeah, we're pretty much only surviving on berries. Oh, what has happened to this colony? <laughs> How did this happen? I'll tell you what, actually, we could pause a load of scientists. We don't need that much science, surely. All right, so all you guys, I'm sorry, you're getting paused. We've got more important jobs that need doing. Oh, just two days of the drought left. Okay, I think we're good to get a another deep water pumper on the go. So Kevin Whiteside has gone in there. Doesn't look like we're going to have to let any water out of our dam, which is quite nice. Um, how's the building going over here? Oh, we've built everything. We've built everything in the poo. Okay, that's good. There's only one more thing to do. We delete those stairs and then we put that power wheel back in there All right and then that should be getting built yeah it's done it's done okay good uh, next up looks like our storage is full of bad water so whoever's in there jason rune wolf uh, i'm pausing you you don't need to pump poo anymore you know, oh this this decontamination pod isn't quite finished We're just waiting on metal blocks how are the metal blocks coming along so madame engineer and brandon cox they are working away trying to do that we are we a bit low on scrap metal yeah i think we are head over to the scrap metal oh we are actually gaining scrap metal there's loads of scrap metal what's going on do we just not have enough i don't think we have enough haulers oh we have no haulers oh there's no haulers at all <laughs> oh dear all right what jobs can we sacrifice for haulers uh i guess it's the science has to take a hit to so pause those we now have three haulers so hopefully that'll help what isn't helping we have contaminated beavers do they actually die i don't think they actually die yes yeah, so they just refuse to work and they have low movement speed but they don't actually die over time or anything so that's not actually too bad Considering there's only seven contaminated ones, I think we're probably good to continue. So we won't have another instant. Do not worry. <laughs> Uh, thankfully, the sun is setting, which means finally the end of the drought happens, which means our power will return. Yeah, right. Oh, hang on. Slow it down. Slow it down, Matt. Blooming hell. What's going on here? We've only got 200 water. I feel like it's because we don't have enough haulers. Oh, actually, we've got eight haulers now. But yeah, let's reduce the number of builders, increase the number of haulers. I'm going to pause like these foresters that are doing nothing. I need to find some other people that are like doing nothing. Yeah, coffee man. You're sat in your butt. So you're paused. Oh, we don't need, we don't need you guys. Get out the wheel of pain. So yeah, we're back up to having loads of haulers now. Hopefully that will like help the colony. I think what's happening 
The guys pumping their wood, when they made the juice, they then carry it like to the storage. And that's time they could be spent pumping. So by upping the priority of the haulers, that keeps these guys working their wood constantly. I may even get some of these pumps back on the go. So yeah, let's get someone in there. Super Gluto, Nicholas. We also need more food. We are really getting through food. By the way, contamination pods looking good. This one doesn't have any extract in, so it's completely pointless right now. Um, and actually, to be fair, so is having this power at all. It's completely pointless. It doesn't lead anywhere. So that's probably what we should look at next trying to actually get this power over to our to our colony oh, and also maybe because food's so low let's get some of these berries picked color us sooner get picking berries right so with power do we go straight across yeah i think we can go straight across if we just go down to that level we'll then need to remove a load of coffee so that entire strip uh, but it's also it's going to disrupt that path so we're going to have to do stairs up that side and that side and then like a bridge over so like those two have to go as well. I might prioritize these just so they get done. But yeah, then we do like a shaft bridge. And then I think that will get power to our industrial area. And we can always we can always branch off our power from here. Like put more buildings in if we want to. So yeah, right. They've dug all of those up. So I can show you what I mean. We need a staircase there, a staircase there. We need platforms over the top like that with a path on top like that. Because then once they're built, which let me let me high prioritize those. <laughs> Everything gets high prioritized. But yeah, then we can shaft over to there and we can get rid of that bit of path and go straight into that building. Okay, good. I think we have a plan finally for that. The only downside is we've got this gap. So maybe once these beavers are down, I don't want them getting stranded. I might delete that, delete that path and delete that path. And then basically do a similar thing. Do stairs there, platforms there, path on top. And then I can just wang a shaft underneath. Because yeah, I think we can access everything. We've got, we've got a way into the water there. So we should be able to build all of those platforms and stuff from up here. We may, we may need a staircase down perhaps. Yeah, fine. I'll put that in. I'll put that in. Boosh. But then we're done, I think. Yeah, in the meantime... No! No, no, we're tree. We've got to open this floodgate. Oh, that was silly. That was silly. So all the trees we cut down are now literally leftover pines. We need to we need to replant those actually. Any for there's no foresters. <laughs> High prioritize. Curie pebbles get involved, but nice. Okay, so how are things looking now? Health check. Water is going up, finally. Oh, food is still dropping. How's food still dropping? Oh, that probably doesn't help. We don't have anyone in the food factory. Do we have any workers? Oh, we don't have any workers anywhere. What are all of our workers doing? <laughs> I'm having to high prioritize everything now. This is stupid. Hey, anyway, let me just check. Do I need do I need explosives still? Is this full of explosives? Oh, I still need five more explosives. Okay. Oh, we got ten. We got 10 stored. Okay, explosive factory. I can pause you then. Oh, we have loads of planks. Okay, we can pause the plankers. That's actually four jobs, to be fair. I may get another gear workshop on the go. Oh, this gear workshop has no one in it anyway. Great. High prioritize. All right, these I can see the balls are moving up and down. So they are working very efficiently. Maybe I should get the coffee back on the go. But well, actually, no one's really drinking coffee. So maybe it's not needed. Oh, look, by the way, this staircase is now in. So we can delete that path and we can replace place it with a shaft um, and you can also see over here the progress we have made we oh we've made fat progress fair play beavers yeah look at them go look at them go oh there's so much progress i feel like i probably need to extend yeah these are out of range so if i just extend this path like up there these are now in range nice okay they can build all of that oh man look at it power from up here it's coming all the way down it's made it down to here now so we just need we just need these built oh man we have lost quite a lot of beavers to old age a lot of OG beavers here. Anyway, the good news is, as the sun is setting, look, we are in, which means we have mad power down here. The network power supply is 1700 HP. <laughs> Banging. Okay, that is good. That is good. Oh, that's actually really good. Right, let's get the let's get the coffee on the go then. Bud shoot 69. Make us some coffee. I may actually store some coffee like over this way, perhaps. Like I feel like if beavers wake up here, they want to walk past coffee in the morning. So maybe if we store some coffee there, then yeah, that'll be a nice like wake up, leave your house, coffee shop literally outside, sorted. Right, the downside is when it comes to a drought, we are still going to lose power. Uh, we've just got to wait for this thing to get built. Now, it still needs a load of metal blocks, a hell of a lot of gears. So I guess that's got to be our aim for now. Just trying to trying to keep those going. But yeah, I think once we've once we've built this, then we've pretty much 
conquered the bad water. And like the best thing about this setup, we can we can just keep adding these water wheels like further and further downstream. I think that'll be really good. Um, by the way, it seems like food's sort of back up to normal. Like look how much eggplant rations we have. <laughs> This is a fantastic diet for our beavers. Water's back on track. The population's back on track. There's only one contaminated beaver left. Hopefully they're in a pod. Yes, they are. Garden Gnome Union. Getting nice and healthy in there. So I think that's pretty much a successful day. And it means we can probably start planning out like our next sort of like big thing. Like, do we try and get some bots on the go to help us? Do we try and mine one of these things? Do we just try and see how high of a well-being score we can get? It does mean we're going to have to do, like, a lot of decorating and stuff. Ugh. Um, oh, it also means we get to play with some of the new fun stuff. So that will be cool. So yeah, maybe that's what we'll do next time. We're going to completely make our beavers thrive. For now, though, without sounding too cocky, I think we've completely conquered this map in terms of I cannot be stopped. Bad water, you weren't really that that much of a of an issue just forget about the incident yeah we're looking good so peace love and beavers bye guys